Hello friends, welcome to lab 3. In this lab we'll do some more requisites, prerequisites for OpenStack train training. So our release which we are going to discuss as I said OpenStack train and the train uh, we have set up, we have created three machines so far. In the first lab we created these three machines. In the second lab we set up the networking uh, wherein we allowed the access from the host machine and in this lab we'll do some prerequisites like uh, NTP server configuration and uh, NTP client configuration for uh, two machines and then MariaDB installation on the controller node. So we have three nodes, we are logged into the storage node, we are logged into the controller node, we are logged into the uh, compute node. Three load, uh, three terminals you can see. Uh, this is compute node, and this is controller node, and this is storage node. Let's start with the controller node to set up the NTP server. So we need to first verify, uh, let's first create the user, uh, you know, give access right to stack user to access all commands, super user commands without password. So for that what we need to do is, we need to use echo stack all is equal to all then no password, we don't want uh, the this user to enter password, no password colon and all to a file slash etc slash sudoers under sudoers.d slash you create any name that let it be stack. So stack all is equal to all no pass wd all. This line will ensure that stack user will be able to issue all sudo commands without any password. That's the advantage. We are going to issue the same command to rest of the machines also. So that is a controller we have done. We do the same thing on storage echo stack all is equal to all no pass wd all and we do the same thing on storage node and we do same thing on the compute node. So this is done. This will ensure that stack user don't have to enter password to issue root commands or the sudo commands. And that's the first thing. Now let's verify we have a NTP that is crony NTP server installed or not. If not we'll install it yum install hyphen y crony. So we just need to verify if it is installed that's great. If it is not it will install it. So it is installed. So I'm sure in that case it is installed on all the machines. So we need to configure it. So let's go to etc crony dot con file and we need to comment out these lines. Oh sorry this is for production server. So uh, we need to keep them. Only thing is that we need to see the allowed. We need to uncomment this line and we need to allow our network which is of series 10.0.0.0 so 10.0.0.0 this network is to be allowed of uh, 24 CIDR should be 24 so 10.0.0.0 this means all the clients from this network should be able to take time from this server that is the advantage that's the meaning of this alright so we just have to use this line other than that there is no other configuration required. Now of course we need to configure the firewall so firewall cmd hyphen cmd okay hyphen hyphen add hyphen service is equal to ntp that is you know network time protocol hyphen permanent this will make this uh, you know add this service permanent and firewall will not block the access to the service and now we need to restart the service so system ctl enable crony d dot service and we need to restart it restart cronyd.service. You can check the status also now. It is running right and this is crony and same way we need to reload the firewall also. So system ctl in fact firewall cmd 
hyphen cmd hyphen hyphen reload this will reload the firewall and now we uh, this server configuration is done we have load, reloaded the firewall and we have uh, uh, enabled the crony server and uh, restarted the server the client part is confirmed let's do the same thing on uh, compute node and storage node also so vi slash etc slash crony dot con file and what we need to do is we need to comment out these lines because we want these machines to take the time from the controller rather than this right so we need to set this so let's make a copy of it so that we have our own file so we need to set this so server and instead of this server we need to set our own server which is controller so I need to take the I, this uh, time from the crony server alright so server controller I burst and rest of the things uh, is should remain as it is we are not going to make any changes into the other services and that is what we have to make changes into this file no other changes are required from this and of course we need to enable the service restart the service system ctl restart crony d dot service and we need to verify or in fact we need to enable it and we need to check the status alright now it is running now we can see uh, crony C sources crony C sources and it should take the time from the controller and it is working so it is taking the time from the controller this part uh, on the compute is done we need to do the same thing on the storage also so vi slash etc slash crony dot con file and we need to comment out these lines and server and here we need to make changes and here we need to make it controller controller and that's it so same thing we need to specify here also system CTL restart crony d dot service enable and status and we need to verify chronicy hive uh, source sources so that will give the source as controller and that's what it is so if you want but yes we should add the firewall also sometime this uh, may, may uh, create problems so firewall hyphen cmd hyphen hyphen add hyphen service is equal to ntp hyphen hyphen permanent permanent all right p e r m a n e n t permanent and we need to reload it uh, firewall cmd hyphen hyphen reload okay same thing we need to do on the compute node also firewall hyphen cmd hyphen hyphen add hyphen service is equal to ntp hyphen hyphen permanent and then reload it so this is the part of a crony that is ntp server and client configuration and we have verified it is working now let's go to the controller node and let's start with the uh, database part we, we start the database also yum install mariadb all right let's start all the files starting with mariadb the dependencies in logs uh, you know everything related to mariadb so this will install the mariadb server okay so once the mariadb server is installed what we will do is uh, uh, we'll configure the database for the root password and so that our mariadb mariadb remember that the database database is required only on the controller not not any other node so we just need to set up this 
MariaDB server is installed. It's installing 5.7. That's fine. It's okay. And uh, of course, we need to make merge one more changes in the MariaDB server, and that will be the uh, default configuration. Default uh, like uh, what is our default setup? Right, like uh, uh, the IP address, default bind address, default storage engine, InnoDB file per table, max connections, you know, collation server. We need to sp specify those settings also. So no problem, we'll do that quickly. So we just need to verify that to openstack.cnf file. We need to create a MySQL dis action uh, on a custom file under uh, my.cnf.d file. So we'll create under this folder and then we'll. Uh, you know restart my mysql so mariadb root password we will set after that so it is installation is about to complete so mariadb part is done Okay, so MySQL underscore we need to do the installation secure MySQL inst secure installation secure installation. This will uh, remove the uh, you know current password for the root. Enter the current password for root. There's nothing. We want to reset the new password, right? And so we want to reset the password for root, which is we which we want to have a root db pass. So I'm just typing that root db pass and root db pass, which I'll remember. Password for the root. Oh, MySQL service is not running. So first we need to start the service. That's fine. So system CTL start MariaDB. It will start MariaDB, enable, so that it start at root time, and then status to check, and this is running now. Now we can do that MySQL secure installation. So right now there is no password. Set root password, yes. Now we will set that root DB password, which we want root password done remove anonymous user yes we don't want uh, disallow root login remote no we don't want uh, you know uh, because we want a root to be allowed from remote location also remote test database yes uh, reload privilege table yes and that's uh, confirm about the MariaDB now what we are supposed to do as I said we need to uh, verify and we need to create a file under uh, you know etc my dot cnf open dot open stack a specific configuration file we will create so vi and slash etc slash my dot cnf dot d slash open stack dot cnf under this let's create a separate section for mysql d which will be specifically for this purpose for our open stack so what we need in this is bind address which is controller 10.0.0.11 default storage engine InnoDB InnoDB files per table on max connection 4096 collision server UTF-8 general CI character set server UTF-8 and these are the settings which we want and of course now we need to restart it so restart the MariaDB server and we need to enable it so we have started we have enabled it and now we'll set the firewall that is mysql should be added permanently so same command firewall cmd firewall cmd hyphen hyphen permanent hyphen hyphen add service mysql so that it allows connection from remote location and we of course we need to reload it hyphen hyphen reload so this will reload the security setting so now MariaDB part is complete so in this lab what we have done is we have configured NTP server we have configured NTP uh, client we have installed MariaDB and we have done the settings character set and collision and all settings for MariaDB server in this lab
and that's all for this lab and uh, next lab will be about uh, uh, configuring uh, the rest of the prerequisites like memcache etcd repository and other things and installing the base packages on all the machines all right thank you very much for watching bye bye take care